It was during the reign of Henry VIII that one of the most unusual jobs in history was created, the groom of the stool. The role entailed monitoring and assisting in the king's bowel movements. And this is a replica of Henry's toilet. So you'd think a job like this would have been given to the lowest of the low in society. Actually, it was quite the opposite. Grooms of the stall were most often the sons of noblemen and the gentry. It was the most intimate contact anyone had with the king outside the bedroom. And time with the royal derriere also meant time with the royal ear. So the bodily functions of a, of a medieval monarch, of a Tudor monarch, uh, were something that was surprisingly open, and that includes going to the toilet, basically. And there was a kind of a uh, prestige attached to being the aristocrat who was selected to basically clean up after Henry. So, you know, these aristocrats wanted to be down there getting down and dirty with Henry's backside. Now, this might sound like it was the least desirable job in the whole of Tudor England, but in fact, the opposite was true, because that gave you, you know, unrivaled, untrammeled access to the king, uh, and you could influence him, you know, when he was kind of at his most vulnerable. That was all part of the kind of mechanics of Tudor power. It was all about getting the king's ear. And factions formed, and uh, usually the rival factions would try and recruit the current groom of the stool so that they could kind of, you know, pour ideas like down the ear of Henry as he was sitting on his beautiful kind of velvet toilet. <laughs> 